Hello, I am Chef Marco Cascia. I am the executive chef here at Pullman Maldives. Hello, good morning. My name is Eddie Petrus and then I'm a chef de departed in the Pat Chameleon. Welcome to Pat Chameleon. At the end of this video, the head chef from Fat Chameleon will give you some tips which you can use for cooking at home. Which vegan dish you are the most proud of? The most uh, proud vegan dish that we have right now is mostly these uh, two kind of dish that you will have it later. It's just a tempe bacham banana curry. There is a two concept banana curry and then the turmeric rice because that one is totally vegan and then the spice herb and then the combining the combined concept there is really really nice do you face any challenges while cooking for vegan clients for vegan clients yeah there is a lot of changes especially when the guests asking like for example uh, ravioli or tortellini uh -huh. is quite challenging because mostly the pasta especially pasta do have contain egg uh -huh. so i uh, challenge myself we also make here like the ravioli and the tortellini without any egg and without any product for the special to guests to the enjoy the vegan experience that we have here. I'm very excited because now we are going to see a wonderful garden full of veggies and different kind of herbs and we are here with the chef and with Vera who is responsible for growing all these beautiful plants here. So I cannot wait to see what we will get later on our plate. This is the water spinach. Water spinach? Yeah, water spinach. We put, make it at this especially, especially at the Melange kitchen. We will put this one as a, one of kind of the dish, mostly used in the Indian and then also for the Asian cuisine. And here we have a capsicum. It's a kind of chili? Yeah, kind of chili, but uh, not much uh, spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. spicy. Yeah, yeah. Like it's mild chili. Yeah, mild. This is the bitter goat. Do you use leaves or? No, the. It's still not a protein. This uh, the taste is really bitter. It's really, really bitter. This one. Like grapefruit. It's like a uh, how can I say? It's not a fruit. It's kind of vegetable. That same uh, family with the cucumber, oh. but it's have a different uh, type, different texture. And then the taste also is a bit bitter, so we always use it, using this mostly Asian dish, mm -hmm. especially in, right now that we use uh, for Indian cuisine and then also for Asian cuisine. So this spinach that we mostly we will use at the Melange restaurant, especially our Asian cuisine, we will use this one and then also the Indian cuisine because the texture we will combine some with the ingredient that have the spice, the herbs of each flavor. Yeah, a bit more, more chewy rather than the normal spinach. This is also a spinach. Different species, different uh, taste and then different texture. You can feel it a bit uh, bitter. Ah, uh, A bit bitter, this one. More than that. Actually, we use this one is for stir fry and uh, for just for blanching and then eat it just like that, combined with all the sauce or ingredient other condiments. Okay, this is the pandan leaf that we are mostly everywhere in the kitchen, even Pat Camilla, so we use a lot of pandan leaf to, for our dish, especially our vegan dish. Oh. For the soup, we use this pandan leaf. It is a sweet taste, right? The flavor, the flavor, the, flavor, the very like calm and then, I was gonna say, refreshing flavor okay. in the food. Have a look at this beauty, local chili. This is what makes your taste real. I can't wait. Okay, this one is uh, mostly we have here this uh, white radish. Mm -hmm. This mostly we use in the Japanese cuisine. Fresh 
this very fresh we, for example we make a, like a ceviche or the concept that combined with the, when we make a sushi or sashimi we will put this one as a combined together with the wasabi yeah, mostly this is the most important in the Japanese food. You also make a pickle? Make pickle, sorry. Yeah. The leaf also we can use for a salad. For salad. For salad. And then also the root part, this one, the white radish, that is because there is combined like the bitterness and then the sweet. Uh, there is a bitter and then there is a sweet also in this uh, white radish. Ah, so this is the very challenging. Very challenging. We have this garden. Right? In the island. Okay, wow. Yeah. So we can really appreciate mm. this effort mm -hmm. done every day to provide guests with the best, the most fresh veggies and herbs. So can you please tell me what are the typical herbs and veggies grown in Maldives? Mostly the typical herbs and uh, vegetables that have in the Maldives that grown here in the tropical is uh, curry leaf and also the chilies and also some like normal vegetable, local vegetables such as a cucumber, and then also the eggplants and then mostly spice, cinnamon, star anise it's available here in Maldives Can the typical Maldivian dishes be adapted to vegan diet? because most of them contain fish Contain fish, sure, of course like for example, we do some adjustment in the Maldivian uh, dishes especially like one of the Maldivian dishes say, say gula the gula means it's like a tuna bowl that mixed with the potato and herbs but we combine we make it mix with the mostly coconut, potato, and then put some ingredient like such as vegetable, eggplant, is like that. So, but the flavor for the spices and the taste is not going. Only the flavor for the fishy things will be removed. But it's a lot of guests also really like. All senses are working here. The smell of the garden, the look of the veggies. You can hear delicate music of the tropical forests here. You can touch the last sense, taste. We will experience tonight at Pat Chameleon restaurant. We can't wait. In the evening, the beautiful garden changes into a fine dining restaurant. It opens only for dinner. Let's see what Chef Andy will prepare for us. Tonight we are at Pat Chameleon restaurant where they grow their own veggies and herbs. So there are a lot of stuff on the table that is actually from their own garden. It's a creative cuisine, vegan vegetarian, and we are very excited to try all this creation. I already picked some starters and mains and we are looking forward to it. So this is mango bread, and this is chocolate bread, and this is beetroot, okay. and this is matcha. And this is matcha. So let's try them all. First matcha. Favorite? Hmm, I think for them all. You like them all? Yeah. Mm, great. Time for starters. Great plating. The only thing I need to do is to eat it. I wonder how it tastes. I have young coconut soup. Let's try it. It's spicy, it's a bit spicy, a bit sweet. It's a, like, it's cold soup. Very interesting taste. I've never tried something like this. Wow. So this is pumpkin dip. Let's try it. This looks like carrot dip. I don't really like the soup. And in the meantime, our mains arrived. So let's open it. Now it's not a little bit so... I think so, there's some spicy thing. 
some curry or green curry or some potato. Ah, I wanted some potato. Actually, this was homemade tofu. As a dessert, we had a surprise, a birthday cake, because I celebrated my birthday that day. We had a special dinner tonight. These dishes are not in the menu, but I'm pretty sure if you request in advance to have like something different outside the menu, the chef will prepare this for you. This chef is very talented, so he can make many different options, different dishes, vegan dishes, First we had amuse bouche, amazing vegan scallops made from king oyster mushroom and Adam had pumpkin pasta. Mm. Is it good? So good. Mm. I love this taste. Oh my goodness. Not for nobody else. No, no, only for you. Special dish. Mm. Adam, so good. This one. Our starter, fresh cauliflower with truffle oil. I'm looking forward to the combination of cauliflower and truffle. The warm starter, cream of asparagus. I love this Michelin star presentation when they bring you some nice veggies or nicely presented different things on the plate and then they put the soup. It's so elegant. And the star of the evening, smoked pumpkin ravioli. So on top of the tortellini, we have some crushed nuts, like fried nuts, a little bit smoked. And inside, there is a very nice sweet feeling of pumpkin, butternut squash. And the green thing here, there's a pea puree. We also have some dry raspberries, which give a very nice flavor to the total composition. Wow. The seating, the setting of the restaurant is surrounded by the garden and it's an evening time, a dinner time and we can see staff with their flashlight just walking around the garden and cutting fresh herbs and fresh veggies that go straight to your plate. It's amazing. So it seems like some of the herbs and veggies are prepared or pre-prepared during the day, but some of them they just go straight to your table from the garden. A masterpiece on a plate by pastry chef. We have um, a strawberry chia pudding with caramelized banana in the middle. And then here, very interesting, black millet crabs and a coconut cream with fruit everything in a great plating. Have a look at this beauty. We invite all our followers to come fat chamali and try this beautiful food. You cannot miss this kitchen. <laughs> now, as promised, some tips for you from the head chef. And this will be for this grill? Yeah. Um, aubergine, or... We will first, we will cut this one and then after that we will marinate first with oh. uh, some spice and herbs. How long do we have to marinate it? So it's around one hour. So one the texture uh, will be a soap. I make a thread like this, mm -hmm. so so later the herbs have be fixed and absorbed okay. over inside there. So it will happen just like this. Mm -hmm. And if the aubergine has seeds, it's okay? It's okay because once we cook, the seeds will be the seeds is gonna be soft. And then the seed also will be not really hard. Mm -hmm. It's like that, it's coming like that. So it's like this and then we will put some of the texture like this, mm -hmm. and then after that, we will put some with the salt and then the pepper. And this and the olive oil. And olive oil. Yeah. So for soon, this one we will keep. Marinate, marinate first, so it will be slowly, slowly observed here inside. So for one hour, because the first, what is the reason we put like this? It's because for the to remove the water excess. Mm -hmm. 
Once you put the salt inside, the water exits from the vegetable will be salt. Yeah, in place. And then the second part is this is one of the our most famous dishes. Yeah, the king oyster. The king oyster, oyster. oyster must yeah, fantastic. fantastic. So it's the same. We will our preparation we will cut and then make a tray. Like this, and then some combination that we will put later together with this is we will use some ingredient that make a, how can I say like a modern cuisine. Mm -hmm. Especially we have this uh, raspberry shield, molecular gastronomy. Raspberry with mushroom. Yes, combination. Like oh that. wow! <laughs> uh, raspberry, and also we have the extract of the cherry. The extract like a flex. And then also, I've never tried the combination before. Uh, and then also there is a sauce that we put with this uh, mushroom, mm -hmm. combination with the uh, Asian cuisine such as the uh, plum sugar, mm -hmm. tamarind paste, and then also coconut milk, mm -hmm. and there also we put also this uh, shiitake mushroom flavor oh, inside. Yeah. 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 yeah, and yeah, yeah, such as you know this uh, lemon grass we pick from the garden. Mm -hmm. Ah, fresh from the it's garden. Fresh from the garden. Every day. And this veggies are more from Dubai, you said? Yeah, from the Dubai, like the zucchini, the tomato, beef one, which uh, we take from Dubai or other Sri Lanka, things like that. So, mostly this is what we can throw by this one as a very nice one. The local one is quite big. And then you can see the more when you see, very easy. Just put like this. Then the smell, the flavor already comes. Mm. Mm. Really nice. Good.